أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد. Respected brothers and sisters, let us remind ourselves once again by the fact that we have been alive before this life. We have been dead before our birth and we have been buried before we die. We all know that the revelations and the science agreed that we are composed of the body and the soul. The body was created originally from tin or soil mixed with water or a molded clay. On the other hand, the ruh or the soul was breathed from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When the body and the soul united, that is the time that the human being becomes alive, then it starts guarded, protected, and guided by the angels, and also it starts misguided and deceived by the devils by the time the baby comes to this world. Amazingly, the womb of our mother is similar in nature with our grave. When we were in the womb of our mother, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sustained our living. And He gave us something that we cannot see and something that we see. Such as, He gave us our intellect, He gave us our mind, He gave us our eyes, our nose, our mouth, our ears, our hands, our legs, and all our body parts even though we cannot use them inside the womb. Why He gave it to us? Because He knows we need in this world, like the Quran and the Sunnah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to us because we need in this world, in the grave, and in the hereafter. In our grave, all our body parts, such as our intellect, our mind, our eyes, our nose, our mouth, our ears, our hands, our legs, and all our body parts that we have been used in this world, we cannot use them in the grave, in the in the grave and in the hereafter. Only the Quran, the Sunnah, and our deeds. Allahu Akbar. Almost all of us have witnessed when the baby was born. We have been all there. We see the baby how much it needs of, attendance, of assistance. We totally dependent on other people. This is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates us. Why He creates us like this? Because He wants us to remember our origin, that our body is useless without the soul. Which is the reason when the soul is departed from the body. The body will be buried six feet below the ground. Let's take a look back. The angels were prostrated to Adam salam until the soul was breathing. Also, on the fourth month, of when the baby inside the womb of his or her mother, the angels of the womb descends because of the who or the soul breathe in to the baby which shows us that the who or the soul is far better than our body thus our intellect our moral our character our conducts are more important than our external beauty it means we should more concern on the inside because that makes us more beautiful that is our true value worth it that is make us love to angels honored by other people and pleasing by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then after a while that same little baby becomes adolescence and or maturity then he or she starts thinking that he is something special we start thinking that I am better than you. I know better than you. We start blaming others. 
deceiving, cheating, lying, backbiting, and many more. Respected brothers and sisters, we all know that every human being is a unique creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He has in him some qualities of the malaika or the angels, some of the devils, and some of the cattle and wild beasts as well. The malaika or the angelic qualities will be predominant in him when he sincerely worships Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and establishes a raffle with the Almighty Allah. But if human being renounces or blasphemes his Lord, the Creator, or, or takes to polytheism, he becomes a victim of satanic influences. This is in fact the true nature of man, the proclivities towards good and the proclivities towards evil exist in him side by side. This leads us to the Islamic maxim says, al jaza min jinsi al-amar, you will be dealt with on how you deal with, thus good for good and bad for bad. Unfortunately. Human being valued much the body over the soul. He forgets his origin and the order that he gets, the more independent that he regards of himself. Respected brothers and sisters, let us remind ourselves, we have to remember, a human had nothing before he has something. Then time comes that very same person becomes old age and he walks with a stick and when he wakes up in the morning all his bones help and then a time comes that he becomes ill or sick and he cannot move without the assistance. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made us dependent then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made us independent and then an old age come Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made us dependent again and then he dies and he can't move and the malakul mouth is sitting upon his head waiting to take out his ruh or soul he sees it Nobody around him sees it, and he sees the reality. The same person, now they give him a bath. He can't bath himself anymore. And the water shouldn't be too hot or shouldn't be too cold because he feels it. Then he is put in his grave all by himself. The only thing which will suffice and safeguard you on that day is your actions. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "When the man will be brought in front of Allah subhanahu wa taala, he can stand up. If he allowed to stand up, he abruptly fall down into his his or her knees. Thus." Every time he stands up, he falls down again and again. On the day of judgment, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "When man sees his evil actions, he cries until his tears dry up, and he had no tears left. And then." The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said he is still Christ, but he cries tears of blood. When he sees the reality, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, define it as a yawmul hasra, a day where man will remorse and said, why I didn't spend my life in the worships of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At this juncture, respected brothers and sisters, listen carefully. If you, if you notice 
all Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creations or all original creations recycled by itself. Let's take as an example as human being. Both the body and the soul go back to its origin. The body is affected by disease or head will die and decompose and back to thin or soil. While the root or the soul is not affected by the physical disease nor physical health, the soul was in existence even before it got committed to this body, and it shall remain even after departing from the body and after the re after the events of the self will not die and back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Human being has two characteristics. We have the malaika or the angelic characters and devil or bad characters. The malaika or the devil characters was created from nur or light and stayed in Jannah or heaven since their creation and in Jannah or heaven forever. While the devil was created of was created from fire since their creation and in, ja in Jahannam or hellfire forever. So, if we follow the malaika or the angels whose creations only to obey and execute the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are surely shining in this world and in the hereafter and inshallah we will be in jannah forever we will be in jannah or in heaven forever where all human beings supposedly belongs but if you choose to obey the devil or your bad characters you will be doomed in this world and in the hereafter and stayed in Jahannam or Hellfire forever. Obviously, where the devil belongs. The choice is yours, respected brothers and sisters. Make your wise choice. Wassalatu wassalamu ala Sayyidina wa Nabiina Muhammad wa Ali wa Sabihi wa Salam.